Good morning. Today I'm going to declare a speech on Dan and Jaya Hitorashi, who was a Toastmaster International winner in 2014. I was backstage listening to Matteo Ra beautiful speech. He talked about the very important theme, how to be a gift to the world. I'm going to ask you a more important question. What if you can? What if you are, in fact, a person to the world? I could relate with that. For the first 18 years of my life, I was a burden to everybody. I was a burden to my family, I was a burden to society, and I was a burden to my country. How do you go from being a burden to a gift? That's what I'm going to tell you today through my life. I remember the first time I got arrested. I was 18 years of age. My brother decided to go into a new school, and just like homecoming, there were a couple of kids decided to give him a rather negative return. I could still remember my brother came to me and said, Bro, I got bullied in the school today and I don't want to go back. I looked at my brother and said, Brother, listen to me. It's happened sometime. You go back again and see how things work out. So my brother went to the school next day and came back. Now crying. I looked at my younger brother and said, As an elder brother, let me handle this problem for you. I went to the school that day. I had a very good friend. Uh, like all Sri Lankans, he had an unpronunciable name. Let's call him Mac. I went to Mac and said, Mac, listen to me. My brother had got bullied in this new school and we need to do something. Mac, listen to me. Get a couple of friends together. We're going to go to that school and talk to those people. I went outside and Mac has organized a group of 50 people. We all went together to that school. Until I got there, Nobody told me that it was in front of the police station. And before you know it, 10 of us get caught, grabbed by our collars, swoom, into a jail cell. We were tough guys. We weren't afraid of cops. But there was only one person that we were all afraid of, and that was my mama. I could hear her scream outside the police station. And even the cops were afraid. I could still remember my mother came to me, held the iron bars, looked at me and said, Dear son, I want you to become a better man. And I saw a tear coming down her eye. The mother cried three types of tears. Tears of joy, tears of sorrow and tears of shame. And when a son sees a mother tears of shame, that was a life changing moment. And at that very moment, ladies and gentlemen, I found a reason to change, a reason to be a gift. Now when I look back, I realize that's what great leaders and people do. They find a compelling reason in their darkest moment. And without a compelling reason, you can't be a gift to the world. Thank you.